So let's get right into it. Let's talk about this whole Quavo and Karuchi situation. So I always thought that Quavo was one of the cutest of the um, Migos. So I always wondered, I wonder who Quavo is going to date. I like the Migos. I really love one of their verses in their song. Um, when he says, yeah, shorty bad, but she broke and she don't own S-H-I-T. So, I really like that. So, I was like, these young brothers got their head on, I guess, a little bit straight. Because that is, I always see that the new rappers come out and get with, like, these smut buckets. And, you know, they're wanting fame and money and different things. And then I saw one of the other guys are dating Carly Red. Ooh, not Carly Red. Mm. Carly B. I bet you Carly Red wish she was dating one of the amigos. But anyways... Carly B is dating one of the Migos, so I thought that was like a good little situation because, you know, Carly B is doing her thing, she's making her money, so it's like, yeah, these young brothers are doing pretty good, and then I found out that Karuchi is dating Quavo, and I'm like, yes, very, very cute couple. Recently, Karuchi tried to file a restraining order against Chris Brown. She has been uns unsuccessful because she has not been able to serve him. With the restraining order and the lawyers are like, no, we ain't taking it and she cannot get it done. So Chris Brown came out and said a couple months ago that he was the type of guy that if you were in a relationship with him once, you'll be in a relationship for, with him forever and he's never letting it go and he will always make your life a miserable hell. So I'm assuming that's when this whole Quavo situation started and that's probably why she wanted to pursue the restraining order. Now don't get me wrong, I love Chris Brown. Brown. I love him. I love him. That is my absolute favorite singer. I try not to judge the entertainers based on their home life and what they do behind the scenes and just judge them based on their talent. So I still love Chris Brown despite all of his drama. Um, but anyway, back to Karuchi and Quavo. Nobody's sure how long they've been together. They've been dating. Um, pictures are surfacing of her meeting up with him and leaving concerts and different things like that. Everybody's just waiting to see how Chris Brown is going to react. So far, we're hearing that he is feeling a little jaded about the situation because he thought that he was friends with the Migos and he felt like it was kind of crossing the line. But he should know that Karuchi is a hot woman and a lot of people have their eye on her and they don't care that she dated Chris Brown at all. Hopefully Chris Brown would just get over it because at the end of the day, you cannot hold on to somebody that doesn't want to be held on to. And if they want to move on, you got to let them move on. You got to let them go to the next thing because in life, you can't hold anybody back and you could try your hardest. But if the person's heart is not there, it's really nothing that you can do. So let's see how long this relationship lasts hopefully it lasts for a long time and they get married and it goes off but we all know that in these celebrity relationship things change so fast you know they're dating this one they're dating that one in the date of internet like you can go out with somebody else and then they have a picture with you leaving with somebody else and then their relationship will be kaput based on that so let's wish Quavo and Karuchi the best in their endeavors, friendship, relationship, whatever it is. Let's just hope that Chris Brown lets them go. We're hearing that Chris Brown has a new boo who is very cute and very Karuchi-like. So hopefully he'll just let it go and move on and this will be the new couple to watch, I believe.